Today's story is chapter 30. On mastering an art. Whatever the art, it cannot be mastered unless the pupil is thrown into a ravine and made to crawl back up again and again. Kindness results in superficial understanding. Let me read it again. On mastering an art. Whatever the art, it cannot be mastered unless the pupil is thrown into a ravine and made to crawl back up again and again. Kindness results in superficial understanding. So the topic of this chapter is uh, be, uh, relationship between the master and the pupil or teacher and the student yeah in in our in our lives we sometimes become a teacher sometimes we become a student and learn something from the teacher in other times we guide people we give a lesson or lecture or we will be like an instructor or we, we can be a senior associate and teach something to our junior associate. In such circumstances, uh, there is an important mindset for the teacher and also for the student. So we should put ourselves in the shoes of the teacher and also the shoes of the student. So when we are student, yeah, sometimes teacher becomes very strict because that teacher is aware of this uh, important advice from the Buddha. Uh, people should be thrown into a ravine and made to crawl back up again and again. For the students and the pupil, it's, it's a really hard, difficult time being thrown into the ravine <laughs> like a cub of a lion. Uh, maybe some of the cubs uh, cannot climb back again. <laughs> And when we are teacher, uh, sometimes we want to be kind, uh, and then we will spoil the student. Kindness of the teacher means the teacher uh, give the answers, all the answers, without asking questions or without uh, uh, even challenging them. So the students, for the, it's very easy for the student. All they have to do is just listen to what teachers say. But in that way, students don't learn much. Students have to uh, be challenged and students have to rack, rack their brains. Students have to have a very hard time to think about the answer. So that's the process uh, students should go through. And teachers should be aware of this truth. So which teachers should fight against that desire to be kind to the student because even a teacher is just one human being. They have the desire of recognition they don't want to be speak ill of. They want they want to be thought of a nice teacher or a kind person. Uh, teachers should go against such desire. Then the, their students will grow a lot and make a lot of improvement. Okay, that's today's story. It's very short but uh, that's 
I think what we can learn from today's story. Okay, good job everyone.